So welcome and thank you for watching this video. Today um, we are starting our new um, AAA home show series of interviews. This video is an introduction and uh, we have with us Simona. Hello Simona. Hi. Uh, thank Hi, you for Maria. being with us. Um, so Simona is the coordinator, the project coordinator. And she will um, explain to us what is this project about and what is the AAA Home Show about. So, uh, Simona, can you explain to us uh, what is AAA Reno? Hi, Maria. Uh, yes, so AAA Reno is a uh, Horizon 2020 project uh, about uh, affordable acceptable and attractive home renovation. Uh, it's a coordination and support action, so it means that our scope is not really to come up with a, a technology per se, but it's more to create a coordination and support actions indeed for um, taking results from previous projects and previous uh, uh, existing realities for uh, making an upscale to the to the market. So our final goal is to um, put the engine of the renovation wave uh, again uh, on in Europe. Um, this is a project that is running for two years now. So we are two years of the, the three years of the total uh, project. And um, we have a uh, quite a large number of uh, partners. We have 16 partners with a different multidisciplinary background. Um, and the final scope of Triple A Reno at the end will be to develop a, a gamified platform to support home renovations in Europe. So uh, within this uh, gamified platform, we are trying to support the different people involved in the renovation uh, process. Uh, so starting from, of course, the homeowners or uh, tenants or landlords, uh, the um, social housing companies, for instance, uh, when it comes to investing into renovation prog programs of the, their building stock, um, but also private homeowners, of course, uh, but also involving all these professionals that are somehow involved in, uh, in the renovation itself and trying to create connections between these, uh, these people. Uh, we know how complicated and painful can be the renovation process. So through the gamified aspect of the platform, and here we really need to understand what we mean for uh, gamification, because it's, uh, it's not a game per se, but we use some sort of simplified uh, method and uh, user-centered approach to, um, to make this uh, renovation process digital uh, as much as possible and user-centered. Okay, so I was going to ask you about the results expected, but you already uh, talked a bit about it. So, uh, to, so to reach the maximum, I guess, to be able to reach the end user in a more simple and, and gamified way, as you say, is there any other results that you expect from it or is something you want to add to this? Yes, of course, we do have a lot of objectives set, which are somehow our uh, promises towards the European Commission when we promise to deliver uh, this project. Um, I have to say some of the results are more tangible. For instance, we do want to come up with a open source platform. So this will be a platform open uh, which is open source, so uh, European citizen uh, could use this platform at the end of the project. And uh, the platform, indeed, as I mentioned before, is a support tool for uh, three main phases uh, during the design phase, um, during the renovation phase. The design of a new renovation uh, that could be somehow simplified, giving some tips, some ideas. Uh, some support tools uh, during the actual renovation work, so um, uh, tools that allow the user to be in contact, for instance, with installers, making sure that different phases are followed, um, and uh, also to start for some, some sort of self-inspection in the renovation phase. So these are all results more on the technical perspective. 
dashboard and monitoring system are also results that will be connected to the platform. But again, as I mentioned before, these are only the most technological results because like we do have quite challenging scope uh, within Triple Arena, which is really also trying to reach out as much as possible to um, to the different stakeholders and members of um, the partners uh, and the associations that are represented. Um, so we do have a quite challenging objective also in, term, in terms of communication, outreach, uh, and it's also the reason why we need to communicate about our project as much as we do and work uh, on the technological perspective. Okay, thank you for the explanation. So I guess this home show is about this, uh, the spreading uh, of the, uh, what the project is about. And so the home show, it's uh, a series of interviews, right? With a format of an interview with. So can you tell us a bit more about uh, what it is and what you expect from it? Yeah, so the Triple Arena home show was somehow a necessity, an idea that came during this COVID time, uh, we, uh, we people working within the European Commission context, we know how much important it is to free, freely travel within Europe. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, project meetings that unfortunately could not run anymore in person, but we do also have quite ambitious programs in terms of outreach. And um, our uh, idea, what we promised was to deliver uh, what we call a roadshow, uh, bringing the project to the people uh, through, for instance, uh, events, uh, workshops, training sessions. But very soon when we realized that this uh, COVID time uh, created a sort of life-changing threat to our lives and we could not travel anymore, we come up with the idea with a sort of contingency plan. So, and also supported by all the technologies that we are seeing these days, uh, and to resonate with the concept of Triple Arena, of making, you know, practices digital, uh, we thought of um, uh, moving from a road show to a home show. So uh, really getting into the homes of our partners, talking to them, and uh, the reason why I want to have these interviews with them is because I think that everyone really has a different perspective and somehow we feel like we have a big elephant in Rome, but we see all the different parts of the elephant. Someone is seeing just the, uh, the leg, someone is just seeing the, the ear of this big elephant and by having this different perspective we can recreate a full image of what the project really needs. Uh, so that's the idea, more or less, of the Triple Arena show. Yes, and uh, I guess this is the right time. I think no one uh, ever thought so much about their home as they are now when they're forced to spend a lot of time inside. So what can the viewers expect uh, from these interviews? Who are you going to interview? What is the structure of this series? Yes, indeed. So the Triple Arena Home Show is going to be a series of interviews with a format, just a conversation, right? Right, just a conversation. So um, we're going to discuss about specific topics that are more important for the specific partners. For instance, uh, we do have umbrella associations uh, in Europe, and with them, um, we are going to discuss about the needs, the perspective, uh, and what this this project means for uh, their organizations and for their members. Um, and, uh, and with this, we are going to recreate a sort of um, uh, collection of ideas and visions. So the structure is going to be, uh, again, a, a short 15 minutes video and then we're going to upload on our uh, Triple Avino YouTube channel. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, we are going to also create some sort of links for dissemination on our um, uh, social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, Instagram as well. So we're trying to uh, spread on social media. And we are, um, yeah, so these are, this is more or less the, the idea. The videos are going to be released 
every week. Okay, so everyone can expect an episode weekly. Uh, as Simona said, I hope you subscribe to this video if you're watching it, uh, to the channel of AAA Reno. And, um, and yes, and thank you very much, Simona, for your time today and for explaining what this is about. I wish all the best for this project and uh, that the viewers at home uh, manage to get in useful information out of these videos and get inspired to start thinking about their innovations. Thank you very much, Simona. Thank you, Maria. And I really would like to add, um, please, if you have questions, uh, just write them uh, and comment the video uh, because by having your comments we can also understand what is more interesting for you to know about home renovation, what is more important for you, or what are the main barriers that are you uh, foreseeing, for instance, if you would like to start a home renovation program but you don't really want to, you don't know where to start, just write everything you would like to know topics you would like to us to address during these interviews and we're trying to make sure that all these topics are handled. We really would like to have the YouTube channel as an open source communication uh, with, uh, uh, with the, the European citizens at, uh, at the large. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Maria.